Today, we witnessed the fastest ever Ironman distance bike split at the Sub 7, Sub 8 event, with Joe Skipper clocking an absolutely blazingly fast time of 3 hours and 16 minutes, averaging 55.2 kilometers per hour. I mean, wow. But the science and structure behind this, from my point of view, is what's so amazing. Now, Skipper averaged 305 watts, which was slightly higher than was said in the broadcast, but it's not much harder than you'd usually push in an Ironman anyway. It was his team, however, behind him that facilitated and allowed this insane feat to happen. Skipper was surrounded by the best time trialists in Great Britain who possess absolute world-class pedigree. Within this, we had Alex Dowsett, pro cyclist and TT specialist who races for Israel Premier Tech, Dan Bigham, tech enthusiast and rider for Ribble Welltight, and many more. But the numbers these guys were pushing up at the front is just spectacular, and I'll get into this shortly. And this was the real reason, from my point of view, why Joe Skipper was able to travel so fast, with him providing the ultimate slipstream for him to sit in. At these speeds, aerodynamic drag is the biggest force to overcome, so without these guys reaching these kind of paces, it would be basically impossible to go this fast. Now let's get into the juicy stuff and take a look at the data. To start with, Alex Dowsett. Now as you'd expect, his power was extremely spiky. When he was at the front, he was averaging that 420 to 480 watt range, which is over 6 watts per kilo, and it looks like he did 11 long turns on the front at this power, which is just absolutely insane. This equates to over 40 minutes spent at these top end intensities, which considering he had 180 kilometers to cycle and over three hours of work to do. It's incredible. His normalized power was 331 watts and max power 659. So super impressive there also. And you can see the toll the efforts took on him from the heart rate graph here. What is really cool to see though is that within this effort he spent 31 minutes under 221 watts which just epitomizes the benefit of being sat at the back of a bike train and meant he was able to recover between these super short sharp bursts he was taking at the front. Now Dan Bigham, someone who obsesses over aerodynamics and is just a time trial specialist. His power numbers were slightly lower than Dowsett's and it doesn't look like he spent as long at the front, but I may be wrong with this. When he was up there, however, his power was in that 350 to 400 watt range, which is still absolutely incredible and around that 6 watt per kilo mark. His average power was 276 watts and normalized 295, so a little bit lower than Skipper's, although he is the king of aerodynamics and probably has one of the lowest CDAs on the cycling circuit. One thing to consider is that the average power won't highlight the effort, as it was a very very surgy race with athletes putting in short sharp bursts at the front and then swapping over and recovering. This was an absolute team effort though and without everybody taking their turn at the front and the athletes like Dowsett and Bigham maintaining this speed it wouldn't be possible. It's clear that the guys on the front went hard and what an awesome event. If you enjoyed this insight into the data and the numbers drop it a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.